lifetutorials.com. Easy to follow, easy to learn, designed to inspire. Hey everyone, my name is Matthew Shonimal and this is a tutorial from freelightmetutorials.com. Now this tutorial is a request on how to resize your images or resizing your images uh, for print in Lightroom. And this request was from Melanie Bruno, who is in uh, one of the many Facebook groups I'm in. And uh, this tutorial is for you, Melanie, but everyone else listen in. So essentially, what you're seeing here is a chart from B&H Photo, basically going over different sizes of um, megapixels of images and resolution and sort of what they correspond to and what they can relate to in quality of printing. So this is a basic guideline, but essentially if you've got a two megapixel image at a general four by six ratio, it just shows you that a two megapixel image would be very good for even an eight by 10 image uh, or a print. So essentially megapixels is important to a degree, but not as important as people may think. Uh, people sometimes think, hey, I, I want to get a big 16 by 20 inch canvas. It needs to be 30 megapixels and that's not reality or, or realistic in, in, that, in that sense. Uh, in my office, um, I shoot, well, in the past, in the past couple of years, we've been shooting weddings full time and um, we have a huge 40 inch by 60 inch canvas on the wall. And uh, basically that canvas was, I think it was like 10 megapixels to print and it printed beautifully. So uh, in reality, we'll talk about resizing images and sort of the idea of how megapixels play into it and how you can make those adjustments in Lightroom for your, uh, your photos. So diving in, we're gonna use this image as an example. This is when I was in Vancouver, um, basically doing an Alaskan cruise. This is before we even were on the cruise. We're actually, we're actually on the cruise ship. Uh, anyways, long story short, here's the image and I took it with a D600. Um, if you notice on the top left hand side, it says the information D600, the date, the time and the resolution of the image. And if you're like, Matt, how did you get that to come up? If you hit the I, uh, the I uh, on your keyboard, it basically cycles through information about your photo. So there's obviously the actual name itself, all the information, the timestamp and uh, the resolution and so on. But um, so yeah, if I see this image here by default, an image capture in your camera is usually at a ratio of three by two or, or essentially a four by six. Um, a three by two ratio is the same as a four by six is the same as a 36 by 24. It's the same idea, meaning that it's just the actual ratio of the long side by the short side. That's all it is. And in Lightroom, what you need to do is by default, um, the D600 captures an image that's about 4,000 pixels long by about 2,500 pixels high. And that's quite a large image. It's actually, what is it? I don't think it tells me how many megapixels is on here, but uh, I think it's like 24 megapixels natively, um, meaning out of camera. So on the right hand side here, there's a panel in Lightroom. Basically, there's a square that allows you to crop. Now in this option, if you click this cropping option, there's also a number of different things. Um, the one thing we're gonna look at for this specific example is the aspect or the aspect ratio. So by default, this is set to four by six, right? Which is essentially if you, if it was a four by six size, it would be six inches by four inches. And you notice the ratio doesn't change. Even though the image is very large, it's still at the same ratio of uh, four by six or, or three by two that um, any image would be. So essentially your ratio is important to keep keep consistent. Um, so on the top right hand side here, you can change it to any ratio you want. For example, an eight and a half by 11, um, you can do eight by 10, you can do four by three in different, uh, different numbers, 10, 16 by 10. Uh, really, you can make any custom ratio you want. Um, by default, your camera is going to be at a four by six ratio though, right? It's not going to print a four by six size. The photo itself is designed to be larger than that if you want, but essentially it is at a four by six ratio. Uh, so essentially, yeah, this is a huge image. It's been processed. It's good to go. Um, the ratio is where I want it. Now, if I print this image as is, it's probably going to be about 20 megapixels, which if I go back to my chart here, um, that's way beyond any physical size I need to even print up to a 20 by 30 or 20 inch by 30 inch canvas, let's say. Um, so when you're exporting your photos, the biggest thing is making sure that before you export it, your ratio is what you want. And that's by default, a four by six or a three by two out of your camera. Um, but when you're exporting your photos, essentially, if you hit the word export, 
the most important sections in this is obviously photo location, where you're gonna, where you're gonna save it to, what you're gonna name your photo as, video doesn't apply, but an interesting section is the image sizing. And essentially what you can do in the image sizing section or tab of the export um, for exporting your photos is that you can actually limit the physical size of megapixels in your image. So five megapixels means five million pixels. So that's a lot of pixels. Uh, but essentially, if you know that your image Let's say you want to print it to be a 11 by 14 canvas or a print on the wall. Well, by default, an 11 by 14, an image that is four megapixels or larger is quite good. It actually should be the right resolution and the right size for your print to be fine. So if you're like, hey, I don't want to print a 24 megapixel image and get it sent to the printers, what you can do here is if you know you need a photo that's at least four megapixels in size, you can tell Lightroom, hey, I want to resize my image two megapixels and I'm gonna make it four megapixels and I'm gonna click four there you go and basically put the resolution at 300 and then now you can make sure your image is at the right um, the, the right ratio being a four by six or a three by two size and a, a right ratio and essentially allow it to be no bigger than four megapixels or a specific number let's say we said hey we need four megapixels but we want to be safe we'll put it to five megapixels well, you can do that and now your image will be at least five megapixels and you won't have a 24 megapixel image of a five megapixel image. So it's just ways that you can maximize exporting your photos and not waste space on your computer and hopefully easily resize them and go through. Um, Melanie, hopefully that answered your question and wasn't too complicated, but kept it fairly simple. Um, and if you have any more questions, please ask. Like I said, this tutorial was um, for, for everybody on how to resize your photos in Lightroom. But essentially, if you have any questions about anything, please ask, email me, or go on my website at freelightroomtutorials.com and send me an email and ask me about certain tutorials that you're looking for, and I would gladly do that. Thanks again. My name is Matthew Shonwell from freelightroomtutorials.com, and this video was on how to resize your images for printing. Have a great day. FreeLightroomTutorials.com Easy to follow, easy to learn, designed to inspire.